All right, Shalom, Brother Ara, coming to you another video. Before I move forward, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. And a double Shalom to all you Akim and you Akwath. Now, the title of this lesson is called Operation Warp Speed is in Full Effect. All right, now this, I got three articles I want to bring out. Okay, and uh, of course, scriptures, Lord willing, be edifying to the hopeful elect. All right, and this is a website, um, one of the government uh, websites. It's called uh, hhs.gov. Okay, it says fact sheet explaining Operation Warp Speed. Okay, it says what's the goal? Operation Warp Speed's goal is to produce and deliver 300 million doses of safe and effective vaccines with the initial doses available by January 2021, which is right around the corner. OK, and we know these vaccines are not safe whatsoever. OK, but that's just Esau being smooth with his words. OK, but war is in his heart. It says as part of a broader strategy to accelerate, meaning to speed up the development, manufacturing and distribution of COVID-19 vaccines, therapeutics and diagnostics collectively known as countermeasures. All right. And I actually know a Jake that's in the world um, who actually works in a laboratory and helps push out vaccines. And she said she will never take the vaccine and that it takes five to seven years for them to even manufacture and develop a, a vaccination. All right. But yet and still, we're in Operation Warp Speed and these devils know their time is short. OK, now I want to bring out a scripture here. Daniel 8 and 25, it says, and through his policy, which meaning his law, OK, his government. Also, he shall cause the craft to prosper in his hand. Craft meaning deceit. Hey, Esau is a cunning fellow, man. That's who he is. All right. Deceitful, cunning fellow. And he's going to deceive a lot of our people to take those vaccination. And all that leads to what? The mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. OK, Revelation 13 and uh, 16. Lord willing, we'll get that. It says that he shall magnify himself in his heart. OK, and by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand up against the, against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. So the Lord is going to bring this devil down. All right. We're looking at a transition of kingdoms here. The everlasting kingdom is getting ready to be established here on the face of the earth. And this devil time is up. All right. Now, I want to bring out another article here. All right, actually, this is uh, the website of uh, the federal government website. All right, federal um, register dot gov. This is all Esau's. Um, he's putting it out there, man, to the public. OK, now it says this. This was a an executive order signed by Donald Trump September 24th, 2019. All right. Before COVID-19 actually hit, because I think COVID-19 hit in December. All right. Which came from Wuhan, as we all know, their laboratory. OK, but they are already planning for this. The stage was already set for this to, to go and play. All right. Now it says again, signed September 24th, 2019, Executive Order 13887. It says modernizing influenza vaccines, vaccines in the United States to promote keyword, promote national security and public health. Now, what is influenza? Just to go to show how these devils operate, man. All right. When you look at the word influenza, it says influenza is a viral infection that attacks your respiratory system, similar to what the COVID-19 does. All right. And which it has a 99 percent, I believe, over 99 percent um, uh, uh, recovery rate. But their media is making you making us believe that. Oh, well, the people that are not uh, aware of what's going on, making us believe that a lot of people are dying from this thing, man. OK. But it does attack. It does attack the respiratory system, which is what they had already planned to push out. OK, before it actually hit hit the uh, hit the market. All right. So now jumping down to um, what it says, modernizing influenza vaccines in the United States to promote national security and public health. Now, I want to jump. Um, I want to jump across here to um, to hit a few points here. It says. Um, vaccination is the most effective defense against influenza, despite recommendations by the 
Centers for Disease Control and Prevention that nearly every American should receive the influenza vaccine annually. However, seasonal influenza vaccination levels in the United States have currently reached only about 45 percent of CDC goals. So they're trying to make make it where everybody takes this this chip okay, or this um, vaccination ultimately will lead to the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. Now, I want to hit another point and I'm going to bring out some scriptures. So bear with me. All right. When you jump down to section three, it says national influenza vaccine task force. OK, there is hereby established a national influenza vaccine task force. The task force shall identify actions to achieve the objectives identified in section two, which is to push out the um, vaccine to, to everybody in America and across the four corners of the earth. OK. Of this order and monitor and report on the implementation and results of those actions. The task force shall be co-chaired by Secretary of Defense and the Secretary of Health and Human Services or their designees. So key words, section, uh, Secretary of Defense, OK, Department of Justice, OK, and the Homeland Security. All right. These are the uh, the forces that's going to that, that are part of uh, amongst many other um, government uh, departments that's going to be involved in pushing out, making it mandatory and enforcing this vaccination, which will also force uh, eventually the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. OK, now going back to the scriptures, these are the times we're living in. This is Operation Warp Speed. OK, Revelation. All right. Twelve and twelve. It says, therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe, which mean which means destruction to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you. Devil means deceiver, false accuser. And the, the biggest devil are the Edomites, starting with the elite banking families, the Rothschilds, the Bloombergs, the Oppenheimers, the Rockefellers. All right. They're going to come with great wrath, as the scriptures say, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, extreme anger. Here's why. Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. He knows his time is running out for what he sees. His kingdom is on his way out. OK, what makes him see those things? Well, the prophecies, the, these elite banking families, they know what's up. When we come back to calling ourselves Israelites and the Lord wake us up, that's a major sign. The men out there on the highways and byways telling our people what's going on, speaking the truth through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that's a sign that these devils know that their time is short. Okay? And so now they're pushing Operation Warp Speed for, for what? Their new war order, because that's what it boils down to. Okay? I want to bring out another priest, uh, another article here. This comes from um Law.com, New York Law Journal. It says star, uh, state bar passes mandatory COVID-19 vaccination recommendation. All right. This happened, I believe, on November 7th, the same day that people were cheering for Biden. All right. As they heard that he won uh, president um, elect. OK, now I'm just going to read this part. It says um, the New York State Bar Association on Saturday Pass a resolution urging the state to consider making it mandatory for all New Yorkers to undergo COVID-19 vaccination when a vaccine becomes available. OK, even if people object to it for religious, philosophical or personal reasons. And it starts with New York, but it's going to hit everywhere in America. All right. Through his policies. OK. Through his policies, he's pushing these things out, man. All right. And we in those times now going back to the scriptures, when you read Habakkuk chapter two, verse three, it says for the vision is yet for an appointed time. Vision meaning prophecy It says, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. All right. And it's speaking loud and clear, loud and clear. All right. Through these prophecies actually taking place. All right. We're living at an appointed time, the end of this devil's rulership. All right. And this devil ain't going out without a bang. It says, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So we're seeing the Lord is not delaying this thing. He's speeding up time for the elect's sake. Lord willing, we're part of that number. OK, so we're living in some scary but beautiful times. You know, we, this is a uh, this has to come to pass. Scripture say. All right. 
But you know the Lord is going to take care of his elect, man. Lord willing, we're part of that number. All right, now when you read, um, let's see, um, Job 20. All right, I'm going to bring out a few precepts and I'm going to close out. But when you read Job 20 and 5, it says, it says, matter of fact, I'm going to start at 4. It says, knowest thou not of this old? It's like, you knowest thou not this of old? Since man was placed upon earth. All right, declaring the end from the beginning. Verse 5, that the triumphing of the wicked is short. Now, who's the wicked? Malachi 1 and 4, the Edomites, are known as the border of wickedness. All right, and they're in the rulership seat. Okay, it looks like they are prospering in their whole strategy to push forth the new world order, but the Lord is going to cut that shit short. All right, all right, uh, when, his, when he is about to fill his belly, all right, the scriptures say, but um, it says, that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. All right. That's, that's the point I wanted to hit just to make it clear. The Lord is going to destroy this devil, man. All right. Nahum. And these scriptures comfort us, man, because without the Lord, it's the only way out, man. If you're seeking your help by Shemia Shai, you're repentant. You're, you've been converted. All we got to do is continue to. Seek the Lord to the best of our ability, keeping the statute, laws, and commandments to the best of our ability, and the Lord is going to fight for us, okay? Nahum 1 and 3, the Lord is slow to anger. Yahweh Shem Shai is slow to anger, who the world ignorantly called God and Jesus. It says, and great in power, and will not at all acquit the wicked. And we just, I just spoke to you about who the wicked is. Scriptures say in Malachi 1 and 4, okay? These wicked is not going to walk away uh, scot-free. All right. They have a tab that's that's is stacked up, man. OK, for all the wickedness that they have done for many years. All right. And this is the Lord preparing for their destruction. It says the Lord have his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. And the Lord is controlling the scene. The Lord is controlling everything, actually. All right. So, you know, we have nothing to fear except for you. How about you? shot. We feel the Lord, fear the Lord because the Lord is the one to set up this devil to be in rulership and he's going to bring him down and lift us up, starting with Lord Yahweh who the world entered to call Jesus. Okay. Now I'm going to bring out this um, a few more precepts and I'm going to close out. Isaiah 41 and let's see. Let me see. Isaiah chapter 41. Let me see. Um, Verse 14, it says, fear not thy, thou worm Jacob. All right. So-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Yeah, we are uh, we're in the flesh. We're, we're weak. All right. But the Lord said, fear not. Okay. Fear not that, that these, that this devil is going to come in like a flood. Revelation 12 and 12. He's going to use his task for force. Okay. But the Lord, <laughs> this is why it says, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. So Yahweh Shem Yahweh is going to be with the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord willing, we're part of that number. Okay? So this is prophecy, man. That the Lord is going to be there, man. When, it, when this devil is going to come in like a flood, the Lord is going to raise up a standard. All right? And no one can stop that. Okay? Not even Esau, Edom himself. Was, you know, Esau was set up by Yahweh Shem Yahweh the Lord set this devil up, okay? He's going to bring him right down, all right? So with that being said, you know, we're living in some beautiful times, and I just want to do an update on the operation on warp speed. You know, the Lord is speeding up this thing, and um, Lord willing, we'll be out of here very soon. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.